Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill, I'm a fourth generation witch. Today I want to show you how you can use magic for your Christmas decorations. And we're going to of course create the star that goes on top of our Christmas tree. Well, so what I want to show you today is how I make my Christmas tree star. Now of course we all know that a star is actually just a pentagram is it not that we're putting on our tree because the tree is the bringing in of the greenery in honoring of the winter solstice and so the star on the christmas tree is just the protective symbol of witchcraft in the last hundred years or so i do think that the pentagram has got a bad rap it's actually one of the strongest symbols of protection and where you see it happening in occult or dark magic places this is so that the magician who is using the pentagram can protect themselves from the dark forces that they are conjuring which i do not recommend as you all well know no dark forces this christmas fairies nature spirits and old man winter only in my household. Today's video is sponsored by Temu, a website and app that has high quality and yet very affordable items. I got my parcel within a week and so I thought we would open it together and have a little look. I, I don't know what I've got, it's very exciting. So this is the enormous package that I've got to open. So my first item is this rather beautiful red handbag. I'm going to give this one to my daughter, I think. I also ordered a mobile phone case, just a plain one. A garlic crusher, which I've been wanting for ages. A flying spinner ball for my godson. They're brilliant. Another handbag for other child. A Fleetwood Mac poster on metal. Some brush felt tips and a pearl hairband both of which were extraordinarily good value. Some furry tights with the fluffy insides. They're this. But it is, it's a shark onesie. Let me see if I can tip the camera down for you. And see, it's got feet, look at that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is a belt, it's got, as you can see, it's got hearts in it. Oh look, it's a little mobile phone stand. Isn't that cute? Ah, yes, this is the liquid glitter eyeshadow. Ah, it's like a silvery, can you see? Silvery pink. That's rather beautiful, actually. Quite want that one for myself, which I love a bit of glitter. Yeah, that's quite good denim. Nice blue jeans. Those are for my boy. They're the, the wide-legged kind, you know, the ones that are very trendy at the moment. Oh, portable mini printer. This prints directly from your phone to this machine using thermal ink so you don't have to fill it up with you know the ink cartridges it just uses thermal paper so the pictures are in black and white brilliant love it really good value i thought that one that's one of those hair ties can you see cup oh seven makeup brushes always useful this takes the ice off your windows you just scrub like that okay what else the hanging basket oh, that's quite pretty isn't it I mean, it's not for my crystal ball, obviously. It's the lace tights, one of those. My husband ordered these. So they, they're like, I don't know what you do with them, they're stretchy chickens. And I think you somehow fire them at people. I've just fired it into my hair. Pants. Oh, it's quite nice, isn't it? Cable ties. Judas Priest necklace that my son ordered. It's rather lovely, isn't it? buttons for an electric guitar. Click on the link and download the Temo app below for £100 worth of Temo coupons via my own code which is appearing on screen or you can search for the code on the website. Thank you Temu. And so I went out at my favourite time of day. It's the gloaming isn't it and it's one of my favourites. It's sort of quiet, nobody's around, everyone's at home, apart from me. So I've come to collect some straight twigs from this hedgerow. They're either going to be ash or hazel because they produce nice straight twigs. So as you can see, I've got some. Um, they need to be all about the same size and nice and straight. Don't worry about the buds on them because we can take those off if necessary. 
but let's take them back in and see what we can do. As always when I'm working, I'm going to take my wand and cast a circle around my workplace in order to create the best spell possible. So for this craft, I've got some scissors and I've also got some brown florist wire. And then you're going to need some string. I bought string which is already intertwined with this leaf ribbon and I got this from Temu. But you could just use plain old string and then tie coloured ribbons of your choice around the pentagram afterwards. And finally your twigs and they're going to be about this thickness which is important. Too thick and they'll be too unworkable with. Too thin and they'll break. For each pentagram, cut five pieces of equal length. Mine are all about six inches. Start by joining each individual twig in a deep V, one to the end of the next one, until all five pieces are joined together. And then you can form it into a pentagram shape and tie the last ends up. It is a bit fiddly this, so I'm not going to show you how I did it because I'm not sure it's the right way. When you're finally happy with the shape that you've got and it is a little fiddly, take your string and start winding it along each individual branch and double winding it on the joins. Tie off any loose ends and eventually it will look like this. Don't forget to add a loop and I have put a little bauble which I happen to have in the centre. And now for the pièce de résistance, I'm going to charge at the pentacles with magic in order to bring us luck and love, happiness and health in the new year. I finally add those little battery operated lights and then I'm going to give this to my friend who lives down the road and put the other one on my own tree. Why not check out my Patreon page for January? New year, new you. Why don't you become a really, really good witch? Come and join us. Have a look. Patreon.com forward slash Ginny Medal. Otherwise, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps my channel and ensures that I can carry on making these videos for you. I will see you next in my January witchcraft video in a couple of weeks. Thank you.